Good day. This lesson will focus on our number system. Our number system consists of a different types of numbers. Let's have a look at the first one. Our first type of numbers that we get in our number system are natural numbers. And natural numbers, every time I'll give you the symbol and I'll also give you the set of where those numbers are. So when we talk about the number, the natural numbers, we make an N without double line like that. Now, what are the natural numbers? Natural numbers are one, two, three, four, five. Those that you have learned since one, two, three years old. And it goes up to infinity. Then the second type that we have are our whole numbers. Our whole numbers consist of all the natural numbers and a zero. The symbol, the N with the zero indicating that we are talking about whole numbers and we can say the set is zero, one, two, three, and so on. Let me show it to you a bit more visually so that you understand. Here, I have my set of natural numbers. And when I need to have my set of whole numbers, my set of whole numbers consists of all the natural numbers as well, and the zero, okay? Our third type of numbers that we get, they are integers. Integers, the symbol for that is a Z. And integers are positive and negative numbers, but no decimals. So they go will, will go up to minus infinity, from minus infinity up till infinity, but it's only the numbers without decimals. So I have my natural numbers inside. Then I have my whole numbers. And then I can get my set of integers. And my set of integers consists of my natural numbers and my whole numbers. They are in there. Okay. The next set of numbers that we can get are the rational numbers. Rational numbers, the symbol for that is a Q. And rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a fraction. A over B, where A and B must be integers. But B may not be zero. Now, this also includes recurring decimal numbers. If I look at an example of a recurring decimal number, I can maybe have a look at an example as 0, 0,3 recurring. 0, 0,3 recurring can be written as a fraction. You need to watch the second, the video following this one, and then you'll understand how we can do that. But 0, 0,3 recurring is the same as one third. Okay. The last type of numbers that we get is our irrational numbers.
Some textbooks might differ in the symbol, but you can use the Q with a little line that means irrational. Oh, irrational numbers. Now, these numbers, they are non-recurring decimal numbers. They are not recurring, but they are also never-ending decimal numbers. And you can get an example such as pi or maybe the square root of 2. So let's quickly have a look again. I have my integers. My integers consist of my whole numbers. The whole numbers consist of the natural numbers. But now my integers are part of the set of rational numbers. And once I have my rational numbers, there's also irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. And these two, the rational and the irrational numbers, they are our real numbers. So our real numbers consist of our rational numbers and our irrational numbers. I do hope that you understand our number system and that it makes sense to you. Until next time, goodbye.